in my last video i went through the back test for the year 2024 now given that 2024 is still not over so the algorithm didn't take too many trades so the the statistics and numbers win loss ratios were off but in that video i just focused on what how how the algo interprets the market and how it changes its behavior based on different conditions that was my focus in that video in this video we have a full blown year 2023 i'll show you the highlights of things that you need to be aware of i especially want to focus on a losing streak that you will see in 2023 because that is the reality of life losing streaks will happen you, there is no way around it if you are looking for a 100% win rate system they don't exist so first a quick summary so for 2023 the algo took 257 trades now that's a decent sample size and that uh, amounts to 5 trades per week which i'm pretty happy with i'm shooting for 5 to 6 trades per week on average then you can see the the win rate is 75% for 2023 which is very good uh you lost 60 16000 and you made $90000 so that's a really good win rate and really healthy returns for the algo so now we will switch to the trades individual trades and keep a chart on one side and just walk you through what the algo did during 2023 the first trade it it takes on is 110 right around here now do note that 2022 was a bear market and the algo becomes very cautious and conservative during bear markets so it looks for specific signals to take trades and then it stops taking trades uh, once those signals disappear in a bull market the algo is much more aggressive so it starts taking trades it it sees that you know um RSI is not overbought MACD i remember i told you in the last video MACD line is above signal line EMAs are sloping upwards so all the conditions are met so it starts taking a bunch of trades 110 111 112 and then it stops on 112 now if you notice from 112 the next trade comes on 23 all the way here so it missed this rally now it missed this rally because of the rules i have programmed into it so the thing is all the 2023 itself is not a bear market but the algo doesn't have any differentiation of the year 2022 or 2023 all it sees is at the current moment what are the conditions so the the condition that prevailed in 2022 are still present in the beginning of the year 2023 so that transition hasn't happened and the algo is still thinking it's a bear market so it's very conservative about taking trades that's why it skipped all these trades so the first trade it takes on is 23 it takes a trade on 23 and 26 obviously not realizing that there is a decent size pullback coming up let's see how deep this pullback was oh this is pretty good sized pullback almost heading into correction so because of that the two trades it took on 2 3 and 2 6 became losers but it stops again so the last trade it took was 2 6 it completely stops trading and waits for the entire pullback to be over and the next trade comes on 322 it's right here at this point so that that was a very good decision on the algo's part and from this point if you see it starts taking trades 322 324 28 330 just constantly taking trades no breaks and you can see on the left side the, the winning trades are the green ones so they're all winning so it's doing pretty good until 419 so 419 is this point so notice that the markets went into a tiny pullback but the pullback lasted for so the pullback is 3% approximately starts on 418 and then the market kind of just become flat so if you take any trades 
from 418 all the way to 524, most likely you will get chopped out, especially if you're a, a directional trader. The algo skipped trading from 419 to 519. So that was a great decision to skip this part where the markets became choppy. And then it starts taking trades on 519 and the market started trending up from that point. And then it again starts going on a buying spree. And it takes a small break in June, but it continues on. July, a small break, 10 days. But here's the interesting part. So 717 is the last trade it took. Until this point, markets are just trending up. So if you're not seeing the chart like this, where you can clearly see that markets are going to dump big time over the next few months, the at the current moment, the markets are going up. So the algo is taking its trade. Until 717, it stopped there. And then the next trade it took was, because I think it detected that pullback coming up, so that was a good move. But here's where it got trapped. So the pullback played out fine. On 8.30, when the indicator started lining up again, it thought the pullback is over. Just like it happened here in April. Markets, look at these two, the similarity between these two uh, situations. Big drop, big drop. Pullback is over and market just go up. Pullback is over, markets don't go up and that's where the algo gets trapped. So look what happens after 8.30, only for a few days did the market recover before they went to start going down again, all the way until October 27. So now if you look at the all these red trades, every trade taken after 8.30, 8.31, 9.156, all the way to 9.15 became losers. Now do notice that it stops taking trades on 9.15 at this point and then goes into a waiting state again and the next trade it, it takes in on 10.10 which is around here. Again the algo is getting trapped into thinking that the markets are recovering but uh, also realize that uh, even though markets fell further my trades are 30 days out so although all the trades taken at this point were negative for some time. Markets did recover and then within 30 days, markets had actually gone up. So that's why you're saying all the trades taken from October 10th became winners. So you'll see all this green, every trade it's taking until the year end is basically a winner. It, it does stop taking trades at 11.20 and I don't have enough data to tell you why it did that. It, it stops here. Let's, in fact, let me do this. Let me add two more months here. Now it makes sense. So I was like, the markets were just trending up. So you basically you missed out an entire month of profits. Well, the reason for that is if you notice, markets have become overbought. So since markets are overbought, the algo, I've coded the algo to stop trading at that point, which is exactly what it did. So it's perfectly acceptable. It's doing exactly what I've told it to do. So here's the, here's the interesting thing. The big losing streak, which started from 8.30, beginning of September, you can say, and it was until 15th September. So that's only 15, 16 days long two weeks but the problem is they're hundred percent losers and these are 36 trades so you can do the math in your head 36 trades every trade risks fifty dollars assuming one contract but in this these back tests have assumed 10 contracts so now multiply that by 10 that will be a sizable chunk now i am assuming with all these calculations that when you lose 50 percent of your trades value, you close the trade. So the losers should be cut at 50% loss. Based on those numbers, even then you have a, such a high win rate and the profits way overshadow any losses. So it, the 2024 video I made, there were hardly any losing streaks there. So that's why I wanted to highlight this unique situation about 2023 because it does come with a losing streak, although it's not that long, but 
you will lose thousands of dollars in that losing streak and at that when that is happening you need to have the gut and the faith in your trading system that it will eventually work out most traders when they go through even like a a week two weeks of losing streak they'll give up so that's why it's so important to have these back tests available to you because when you're going through a losing streak and when you're doubting yourself you can always go back to your back test and see that these things happen in the algorithm or whatever your trading system is if you are developing a systematic trading system you need to have back tests available to you so you can ride out these moments so that's it for 2023 the video the next video i'll be doing is for 2022 and that will be a very interesting one because it's a bear market and you will have many losing streaks so watch out for that one see you in the next video